And so there doesn't have to be any, any division at all between what we call meditation and what we call life. In the spiritual world, we make so many divisions and between the spiritual life and our practical life, our everyday life. And so you're welcome to stay with the direct experience of this moment. You simply notice you know, what, it, what it feels like to be human, what it feels like to be alive, what it feels like to experience this moment. Despite what our, what our mind has to say or comment about this moment, Now, and throughout our life, you know, throughout our day, and pretty much from the moment we wake up, our mind is, is busy commenting on what we see, on what we experience. And we believe in those comments. And then we create this whole virtual reality about what's real and what's what's not real. We create this whole virtual reality and oftentimes that, <laughs> that virtual reality that we create causes a tremendous amount of suffering for ourselves and for everyone around us. I can re remember a time in my life when, when I was really busy going to uh, graduate school and I'd recently bought an old house that was just falling to pieces and so I was remodeling the whole house. And I was trying to take care of two kids. I was trying to you know, run a full-time contracting business and begin a uh, counseling practice. And so I had so many things on my plate. And so at night before I'd go to sleep, well, I couldn't go to sleep because I, <laughs> I had too many things in my mind. And at some point I would fall asleep and I'd grind my teeth all night <laughs> and wake up <laughs> in the morning and my and my body, had, it, it wouldn't relax. It was just in like this state of, of constant tension. And so then as a result, you know, my first thoughts in the morning were, you know, oh shit, I have so much work to do. And then I would just live life through this, this state of, you know, pretty much insanity. Because because I was living in, in so much stress, you know, and I had all these thoughts about stress and all these thoughts about all these things I had to do and get done. You know, I just created this whole world of stress and tension. And when I look back at it, I could have lived the same life minus the stress and tension. Had I not believed in everything I was thinking. And because as soon as we believe in these thoughts, you know, we create a sense of suffering. We create a sense of, of division. And we can still have an extremely busy life But the suffering is a choice that comes through believing everything we think. Because as soon as we, we believe in what we think, we identify with it, we create this reality. And then we project that reality onto others. And it creates this whole world, this whole world of insanity. <coughs> 